smoky me eye. Ladies and gentlemen, you asked for it, you've requested it, and here it is. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. No, Bob, tell you who's next, Goldberg. You're next! Haiti, Haiti, let me start by saying that's a tragedy what happened Haiti, and I feel bad for those people. Do you really? You sound so genuine. I mean, you know, the way you just emoted yourself there. I just got nothing from that blurted little fucking machine gun barrel of a fucking sentence you just spat out there. It was really sincere. But do you realize what their lives were before that? They weren't great, they were living in squalor. Which of course is a good thing because it means the earthquake did less fucking damage, is that right? You know, or they're living in squalor. I mean, you know, generally I would think of, if I was already living in fucking squalor and there was an earthquake, that would actually make things worse. I'm just saying. You wanna why? Because the government is corrupt. Yeah, and of course your government isn't corrupt at all, is it? In fact, all governments are corrupt, aren't they, Bob? Hmm? Do we want to talk about the pharmaceutical industry, the lobbyists, certain companies, certain corporations? There's no corruption in any government. And you're right, they have got a corrupt government. And this means the earthquake was good. Why? You think all this money you're spending over there is going to find its way into the pockets of the Haitian people? No, I don't think the fucking money is going to find its way into the pockets of the Haitian people. Because that's not what the money's for, you fucking dribbling, ranting twat. Why don't you stop drinking for a while? And what is in that can? Calm down, mate. There's no need to get overexcited. No, it's gonna find its way in the pockets of the president of Haiti. What is the name of the president of Haiti, Bob? Just asking. All the money, Bob. All of it, right? You give money to certain charities like the Red Cross or certain organizations such as that Oxfam, right? They don't just say, here's Mr. Haiti, here Mr. Haiti president whose name I don't fucking know. Here's the fucking, there you go, there's all our money, we trust you. No, that money is actually going towards sending people out there to help them. Relief workers. You have to get them out there somehow. It also goes towards other organizations who spend this money independently. Use the Google! This guy's gonna use that money to put a new freaking extension on his palace. His palace? Okay. Or a new carpet in his freaking living room. A new carpet, an extension on his palace and a carpet in his living room. So you've gone into the depths of finding out what the Haitian president is going to spend this charity money on, but you couldn't put the effort in to find out that he doesn't get the money. My other question is, where is this money coming from? From where all the money comes from in the government. It comes from taxes, it comes from... It comes from lots... It comes from people, Bob. Where do you think it comes from? Well, I'm imagining Barack Obama, being the fucking sort of Aladdin sort of character that he is, would stand there and rub a lamp until a genie comes out and he'd wish for it. A hundred million dollars? You're wondering where a hundred mi- Do you realize in real terms, Bob, a hundred million dollars is fucking pittance? It's nothing in real terms? Do you get that? You don't, do ya? You're of course happy to fucking bitch and moan about a country that's just been raped to ratchet by a fucking earthquake, half a million pissing dead people, and it's been completely demolished, and we send them a hundred million dollars. Oh, call, call it, you know, out of the kindness of our fucking hearts, if anything else, right? And you're sitting there, you don't talk about, you're not talking about the fucking corporations and the cut and the companies and the people and the CEOs of these banks that are getting hundreds of millions of dollars for one fucking person no you want to deny I know the fucking poor people who've got fucking less than nothing that's just been blown up you want to deny them that as well you're a saint ain't you the United States sent over a hundred million dollars to Haiti we're bankrupt d d d Bob, Bob let me tell you a secret here everyone's fucking do you know why? It's because we've all been spending money that didn't exist. But as long as the, but as long as OPEC, and as long as the countries in OPEC continue to uh, decide to trade oil in American dollars, that means if Morocco sells oil to Holland, it's in American dollars. You don't have to worry, mate. You've got little Salvador Dali magic checkbook. We're broke. We're trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. Do you know how many fucking, how much money is wasted on fucking iPhone applications 
that make your voice sound a bit funny. Right? Stop spending your money on shit. We have people living in tent cities and going on the unemployment line. Really? Well, do you know what? The, do you know the people in Haiti? They haven't even got a fucking tent. Every day, yet we're sending a hundred million dollars over to another country. Do you know what I love about people like you, Bob? Is you have no ability to look at sometimes that there is a third option. You look at the world and see, well, it's this way or that way. There's a third option here, Bob. Let me spell it out to you. It's not a case of you give 100 million to Haiti and don't spend it in America, or you don't give 100 million to Haiti and spend it in America. No, what it could be is this. How about you give 100 million to Haiti and you spend 100 million in America, and you take all the money. Has take a f take 5%. Six percent, five, six, seven, some a pissing little amount of all the bankers' bonuses, and spend that on the people. You could do that too, couldn't you? But that's not the option for you, is it? That's not the fucking option you want to take. You don't want to look at it that way. You don't see the fucking logic in that, do you? You're not really capable. What is in that fucking drink? The NFL is donating millions of Oh, the NFL, because those football players, they're, they're struggling, aren't they? They really are. I mean, they're just... Th th those poor buggers. They must be so bereft of fucking cash. MTV is going to have a benefit concert hosted by George Clooney. Oh, my God! They're going to have a benefit concert, what, where people choose to give money of their own fucking accord? Oh, my God! What country do you want to live? Do you want to live in the America that gives a flying fuck about... No, you do realise that all these other issues you're talking about, the unemployment line, these tent cities, you do realise there are organisations dedicated to looking after them as well, right? It's not a case of charity doesn't go, right, all charity is about Haiti and fuck the world. Piss off Ethiopia, we've got fucking problems. No, they're fucking looking after it all, you know. There are homeless charities that deal specifically with fucking domestic fucking issues. Do you know that? Oh, what a cocking surprise. They're going to send millions of dollars over to freaking Haiti. What's that, Northern Ireland? No, it's not terrorism. America's funding you. You think if this earthquake didn't happen in Haiti, the United States government would have found $100 million to help the people in this country? Oh, of course, because if, if $100 million, Bob, uh, is going to solve the issue, isn't it? No, it's going to help. America has not fucking come running at a fucking rescue of... No. You could give more. You could give a lot more. The problem with the money in America is not the fact that America is in debt mainly because there are too many people who have too much fucking money. Now, I'm not against people having lots of money, and I would never want to limit or strip people of the amount of money they can earn. But what I am constantly sick of is people, basically, who are shit at their jobs, getting... 50 million dollar bonuses for being fired and crap. That's where your money's being wasted, you fucking ignorant prick. You think the NFL would have donated millions of dollars to help the people in this country? Yes, I think they would have actually, and I think the government would have done. You know, you do, you don't get it, do you, Bob? But you're one of these people who, you look at a disaster, or you look at a, 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 a tragedy or something horrible like Haiti, and you react of such, such righteous indignant, and yet you don't put yourself in that position. You don't, you don't, you can't appreciate the real, real life situation. You can't understand that. And so you don't fucking equate to it. You don't appreciate it. You can't understand or relate it. You think MTV would have had a benefit concert to help the people in this freaking country? Yes. Much like people, many people, even people on YouTube. There's a guy called The Amazing Atheist. He recently had a benefit to help the people in New Orleans. You are that fucking stupid that you think there is no charity work going on in America that is geared towards helping people in America? Your problem is not people like Haiti. Stop picking on fucking them. Your problem is greedy, big, fucking, rich, fucking corporate pricks, inconsiderate fucking arseholes who are only interested in getting as much money as they can and could give a shit how much fucking money they're denying everyone else. Of course not! Of course not, and you've got fucking so much fucking evidence for that, haven't you? Every time I turn on TV, I see commercials that I should text the number to my cell phone so I can donate money to help the people that hate. Oh, 
Oh, you! How how horrible of you to sit through that uh, that advert asking you if you would like to donate. If you can, you can spare twenty five p. You could put donate. I mean, th how can these people sleep at night, Bob? Jesus Christ Almighty! You know, I suppose. I mean, worse things happen at sea or in Haiti. At least you've got a TV and electricity and a house. Ten seconds later, on the same channel, I see a freaking report that those degenerates from that show, The Jersey Shore, are making $10,000 to show up at a freaking bar and drink banana daiquiris for a freaking hour. How much are you making, Bob, for rambling and spouting all your fucking bollocks on this fucking show? I'm just wondering, how much would you accept? Someone said to you, we'll give you $10,000 to do exactly what the people in Jersey Would you say no? I've got my doubts. Are you kidding me? Is there something wrong with this freaking picture? Yes. You're completely wrong. And why are we going to help anybody? I thought nobody wanted our help. I think the United States was bad. I thought we should mind your own business. You thought nobody wanted your help? Well, you're a bit of a fucking twat then, aren't you, Bob? No, the United States is not bad, Bob. The United States does not do itself any favours in certain issues. But if you think that giving a hundred million dollars to Haiti is compensation, let's say, for those million plus dead Iraqis, if it's compensation for all for Guantanamo Bay, if it's compensation for all the wrong that you do, one right, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, but one right doesn't erase every wrong. No one's ever said they don't want your help, you spastic. Do you know what's funny about this, Bob? You're fucking complaining about the fact that your country is actually caring about other people in the world. I mean, aren't you the fucking country, pardon me if I'm wrong here, Bob, but aren't you the country that goes on about how we are the, you know, we are the leaders of the free world. We are the shining beacon of light. Well, do you know what? If you want to be the leader of the free world, you have to help the people you're leading. Dipshit. And much like the fucking president of your country, Bob, You've got to stop looking at the world and seeing only black and white. Because I know there's an act to this. There's an act to what I do. But what you're saying is quite simply shit. This has been Smoking with Dick. I hope you've enjoyed this show. I'm sure the responses from the, suppo the supporters of Drinking with Bob will really appreciate it. Richard D. Coffin 66, good night, may God be blessed. Mm.